What is going on guys, it's E17 and I'm back with another video and in this video, this is just another no money spent episode. Now, in this episode, I've got a little bit to go over. I'm not actually sure if you guys know what has been happening in the club the last few days. So we've got these new packs here and something huge happened, something I've probably been talking about quite a bit recently. Now I'm going to go with packs first. These cards are okay. Andrew Wiggins, Cedric Sabalos. Now he was really fun to use at the start of the year for me personally. When no one had quick draw, his release, I greened it all the time, although now I probably couldn't. I may have to try him out though. And this Dave DeBusher, probably an incredible card. David Wesley, I think six foot tall. And we've got Colin over there. Not sure if I can say his last name, but not too worried about that. So... First up, David Wesley, I'm going to check out. He's six foot tall, so he's unusable. And Colin should be quite a good card. Six foot one, great dunking, great defense as well, great speed. I think he'll be a fun card to use. Basically, a better Jason Terry maybe, although probably not the most like usable card this Dave DeBusha is actually going for a buyout right now and six foot six so he is an incredible card 50 Hall of Fames he has Hall of Fame range that's cool I thought he didn't even have Hall of Fame range and then I was about to question how good that card actually would be but here's the up to Cedric Sabalos. He's cheap. I'm definitely picking one of these cards up. 29k. I'm just going to quickly see what their cheapest one of him is. Because I'm tempted to actually get one. That's awful. Why did I do that? 33k. Now, I'm not sure how long was left on that bid. I'm going to just quickly check it out, and I'm going to bid on it. We didn't win the bid. Unlucky there. Although, I think I can just get him on a buyout anyway. Should have put the buyout a little bit lower. 33k. I will happily pay that to try out a card. So, he's six foot six. Hall of Fame range, quick draw clamps. He's got a lot of those important badges. Unpluckable, back down punisher, dimer on gold. So not a bad card. Now we get that empty back there. And he is joining the squad. So I also got two Galaxy Opals. Now I'm not sure what they're under. They should be under here. Kiki Vanderway and Dan Issel. Now I got these cards from Triple Thread Offline. There's been so much going on with Triple Thread Offline. There was an event today where it was three times MT out of vault. So if you got 5k MT, you actually, well, if you got 5k MT prize, you would get 15k MT, although that is ended. I did make the most of it though. I have a few tokens up there. Well, not a few, a thousand, but I mean, I'm just saving them up. I haven't really got many tokens, so compared to what I would like, I finished those challenges. Although I think I'm going to do some of these challenges. So zero from one. And you can get 15 tokens for each challenge. So 
that will be extremely easy running quick through STS playing freely whatever and now I'm going to quickly put Cedric Sabalos into the lineup and I'm going to go over his release because I haven't used him for quite a while well I used him first few weeks his sapphire and then he was out of my squad so I'm back and wow that's a slow release oh actually that's a bit strange although I think I can get used to that that is actually quite a nice release it's definitely not the fastest definitely not it's kind of comparable to how his release was back in the first week his was slower than a lot of players but I think this release is actually money now maybe it's just me that thinks that can he shoot from corners I'm not sure if he can he should be able to I think yes he probably can and he's just going to be a decent shooting guard I guess nothing special now I'm not sure what his dribble moves are like oh that's a nice behind the bag oh wow those those dribble moves don't feel like they're like bad ones I think they're going to be quite nice that step backs money as well I cannot stop greening the step back now he went to a three point line there but he's going to be a fun card to use I'm going to get a gameplay on him tomorrow definitely but I do apologize for this video being short I was actually going to stream today but I like wasn't really able to but I will be streaming tomorrow should be anyway on Twitch so follow me if you haven't already but I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please like and subscribe as well as follow me on Twitch Twitter and Instagram bye